Hi friends, good morning. So in this tutorial, we will see that uh, in times using Kotlin. So first, we will concentrate on uh, explicit intent. So how that explicit intent will work using the Kotlin, we will see. So for that, uh, I'm creating one new project. So with name of uh, explicit. So with name of explicit with Kotlin, I'm creating the project. So here we will see how this will work here. So now that's I created a project. So we'll see, just we'll take one button and we'll move from the explicit means moving from one page to the page, right? So here we will move from first page to second page. How this will work, we will see here now. So this is the one project is created. So once the project is created here, we will see. Meanwhile, uh, we'll add here the button and layout. So I'm changing here linear layout. So this I'm changing as a linear layout. So for this, we will give the orientation. So I'm giving you the orientation as vertical. Orientation vertical. Then here, I'm giving this as explicit intent exam. So I'm giving like this. Then here I'll drag and drop one button. That button, once click on that button, we'll move to the next page. Move to next. Just I'm adding this, move to next. So here I usually I'm applying the data binding. So that is data binding. So once I added the data here, apply here then. So now we need to enable the data binding here. So we will enable data binding here. here. So data binding. Enabled equal to true. So I'm enabling the data binding here. So click on save now. So, so here we will add the data binding. So var binding. So that is activity main binding. And link the nullify condition here. So then here binding equal to so data binding so data binding util dot. So we need to import this data binding util, and here it is the context. So now I'm applying the listener for this. So that is binding dot. So button dot that on click listener. So once I'm clicking on this button, I suppose to move to the next page. So for that here, I'm creating uh, one uh, intent. So that is var intent equal to intent of. So intent here. I'm writing the now this intent. So that is a this at the rate main activity. This is a context. And here target activity. So I'm creating here second class. So second column. So class dot Java. So I'm creating this. So for this next is the start activity of intent. That's it. So now with this name, we will create one new activity. So here, 
I'm creating one new activity. So the activity is empty activity with name of this. So click on finish. See here now second activity has created. So in the second activity for our understandable. So here we will create one now. Linear layout. So linear layout. And uh, we'll drag and drop one text to you. And uh, we'll give the orientation as vertical. So drag and drop one text to view. So for this text to view, here I'll give we are in a second page like that i'll give this so now i'm running this see meanwhile it's running here we need to see one more thing once you create an, a new activity that activity must and should register with an uh, here manifest device so that is uh, registering like this so this is the way we will handle the, this. So this is explicit intent. Explicit intent means moving from one page to other page. Means explicit intent can do many things, but on that the first part is moving from one page to other page. That is this. Now we will see here. I'm correcting my mobile. It is launching. Okay, see now I'm clicking on this move to next. See, we are in a second page. So this is how we are moving from one page to the page. Thank you for watching this. Thank you. Please subscribe to get more updates.